My name is Mary Bonato. I'm an attorney, and I am the Civil Rights Project Director at Gay and Lesbian Advocates and Defenders, GLAD, in Boston. What I do as a lawyer at GLAD is try to make sure that everyone has freedoms and opportunities regardless of their sexual orientation, their gender identity, their HIV status. So really, what my job in, the, in a big sense is about trying to eliminate double standards in the law and make sure that everybody's on the same playing field and we get to equal justice under law. Some people also wonder about why did you start marriage litigation in state courts rather than going to federal court. We had to start somewhere, and we started with states as a way, really, of building forward, sort of step by step, incrementally, to get to a point where I think we are right now, where we don't have a majority of states, but at this point we have 20 jurisdictions in the United States that allow same-sex couples to marry. And we've also seen, in the last 10 years since Massachusetts started marrying people, enormous change in attitudes. Many people have changed their minds because they have realized when, when same-sex couples marry, what happens? You celebrate their commitment, their responsibility to one another. There's more joy. You know, they're tied more to the community. These are win-wins for everybody. So in a small case comes a big message. I have just never forgotten what, it, in some ways, how lucky we are to be alive and to have been here at this time and to have fought for what we've achieved and to hang on to it. So now, of course, you can imagine how exciting it is to see okay, federal great. courts Thanks. almost unanimously around the nation striking down these amendments that were passed in 2004, in 2006, in 2008 as completely inconsistent with the guarantee of the fundamental right to marry and as denying gay people equal protection of the laws for no reason, no good reason at all. When I first received the call from the MacArthur Foundation, I was in the woods fighting off mosquitoes, and I noticed that somebody had been trying to call me, and I just thought, it's probably some emergency. I should really just deal with this. And then I, when they said why they were calling, I was shocked. I couldn't, I mean, how can you comprehend such a thing? I, I really, I very much appreciate this and the acknowledgement. And I also feel like this, this movement has involved so many people for so many decades that I feel a completely inadequate stand-in for all of those millions of people for everything they have done, whether it's, you know, talking with a family member and working through their concerns or legislators or being plaintiffs in court. You know, we've represented so many incredibly brave plaintiffs who've had to be vulnerable and really bear their souls. And I just feel a need to say that, that I recognize that, that I feel like everything everyone has done has mattered enormously. Mm -hmm.